Seeing, yeah, uh, check it, yeah. Look, heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Never wait on the right time, cause the right time ain't ever coming. All that, when we get my ducks lined up in the row, no, you won't. No, you won't. Because as you have aspirations, you got to understand that the devil understands your aspirations, too. The devil's job is to rob you of your destiny. So that will always be an obstacle. So if you're waiting on the right time, you'll never make the move. You have to go. They want to finish you. They want you broke. They want you miserable. They want you unhappy. They don't believe in us. God did. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show you what it looked like out here real quick, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. Tell me that ain't God, bruh. If you up this morning, tell me that ain't God, bruh. If you blessed to see another day, tell me that ain't God, bruh. Come on, man. You got another opportunity, bruh. You winning. If you up, you winning, bro. So take advantage of that, bro. Look at that, man. You know what I'm saying? The sun shining, the, the clouds around it, bro. Listen, that's heaven, man. Life is heaven, man. It's all what you make of it. But I do want to talk to y'all about something, and that's maintaining. You know what I'm saying? We see a lot of people gain things in life, but it's a whole nother story, a whole nother realm, and a whole nother issue to maintain it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, you could gain things in life, you could get blessings, you could get blessed all around if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? But it's all about maintaining those blessings. That's not God's job for you to maintain your blessings. That's up to you to maintain your blessings and keep those blessings, you know what I'm saying? The Most High blessed you with it. Now, it's up, it's up to you to put in the work to keep it. You know, oftentimes we see people get money, you know what I'm saying? But they don't know how to maintain that money, so they lose it. We see people in the gym, you know what I mean? I point to it. You see people in that gym, you know? You know, they work hard. You know, they work hard to gain muscle. People work hard to lose weight. But it's all about how you maintain that. You could look like one thing, you know, uh, for, for a certain amount of time. But listen, if you don't maintain that shit, bro, guess what? You could look like you could go in a whole nother direction very easily. With how shit be going out here, depending on your diet, the food that you eating, how active you stay. You see people on top of the world, you know what I'm saying? They got it all. They got the muscles, they got the money, you know what I'm saying? They business popping, bro. But if if you don't know how to maintain that shit, bro, all of that shit is going to be gone with the wind, including your health. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about maintaining. That's where, that's where the word maintenance come from. When you in these cars, bro, listen, your cars require maintenance. You know what I'm saying? You don't just buy a car and then your car just good for life. No. Your, li your, your car need maintenance. It need oil changes. You know what I mean? It might need some spark plugs changed. You're going to need new tires. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need a radiator flush. You know, you're going you to need your radiator flush, man. You're going to need that shit. It's all about maintaining. That's doing maintenance on your car. You got to do the same thing with your life. It's going to require you to go to the gym, bro. It's going to require you to protect your energy. You know what I'm saying? To, to refrain from having an overactive sex life. It's going to require certain things to maintain life. You know what I'm saying? But if you just think that everything just going to be okay, nah, bro, that's up to you to put in that work. Just like these cars, just like machines, just like buildings, just like houses, houses, bro. All of those things need maintenance done on it just like your life so what makes you think your life ain't gonna need maintenance nigga you gonna need the most high you gonna need you gonna need maintenance you gonna need spiritual maintenance nigga you know what i'm saying you gonna need mental mental health maintenance bruh you know what i'm saying you gonna need emotional maintenance you gonna have to do maintenance on yourself and uh, uh somebody asked what shadow work is bro shadow work is surrounding all of those things bro that's shadow work you know, shadow work is, is is doing all of those things outside of the main thing that we doing on this journey, which is retaining. Yeah, it's one thing to retain, but we got to do that shadow work. That shadow work is the maintenance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going to downplay it. But listen, no, they going to look at it as small things. But those small things is actually big things. 
You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to keep you maintaining on your journey, bro. That's going to help you keep that uh, momentum. You got to maintain your momentum, bro. You can't just get lax. And that's why I say, man, when you having tough days and shit like that, bro, you got to maintain. You know, you just got to fight through that shit. You don't just stop. You don't stop doing maintenance on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't just stop. You just don't stop the car. Just because you having a rough day, you got to find ways to fight through that shit. And that's going to help you further on. You know what I'm saying? All of those things will help you. You're going to have to maintain that momentum. You're going to have to maintain that energy that you have. If you're using your energy on dumb shit, you letting everybody pull from your energy bank. Guess what, nigga? You ain't going to have no energy left. That's why you got to be careful with your energy, bro. How you going to keep your momentum and out here and be out here maintaining in anything if you steady getting robbed of your energy, bro? And that's all you have. You got a lot of people that's around running on E. You know what I'm saying? You got people around that's running on E. So they get these blessings. They come up in different ways. But then when they lose it all because they bad maintenance, you know what I'm saying? Because of they bad attitudes, because of they bad energy, then they want to look at the next person and try to rob them of theirs. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got a lot of savages out here. You got a lot of bandits out here. You got a lot of motherfuckers that's backdoing people out here because they gain things, but they don't know how to maintain things. You know what I'm saying? But then they want to look around and blame everybody else, man. We can't play that game. We can't play that game, man. When you didn't know what you didn't been through. Listen, bro, I don't see how it's even tough for you to maintain what you have now because you know where you come from. You know your ass didn't have shit. So how you going to get this and then fumble the bag? Niggas be out here fumbling the bag. Ain't never had the bag. And then when they get the bag, they fumble the bag because they get cocky. Up here, they don't do no shadow work. They don't do no shadow work. They don't do no maintenance. They just think everything is just good now. I ain't got to do nothing now. I ain't got to pray now. I ain't got to work on me now. I ain't got to protect my energy now. I'm good. I'm just I'm just good in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I got it made in the shade. No, nah, nigga, you don't got it made in the shade. You going to have yourself out here made and then getting played because you going to play yourself. You going to play yourself in the process. Thinking that everything all sweet, thinking that you ain't gotta put in no more work. Out here getting lazy, getting lax. Who got time for that shit, bro? In the ever-changing world, bro, where everything with all where all this dark energy floating around, and we seeing good people turn bad every day. We seeing good people turn savages every day. We seeing people get ate up by this life every day. We seeing people go down to addiction every day, bro. Struggling every day. So how you gonna stop fighting, bro? We can't stop fighting, man. We can't stop doing maintenance, nigga. We can't slow down. We cannot slow down, bro. Keep your foot on the gas. Don't let nobody slow you down either because that's what they want to do. That's what people try to do, man. They want to catch up with you. So guess what? They're going to try to pump your brakes in so many different ways. Your ass probably wouldn't even be able to recognize it. Oh, man, let's go out to eat. Oh, man, let's go to the club. Oh, man, let's hang out, get some beer. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Such and such. I got, you know what I mean? I'm talking to such and such. She got a friend. You know what I mean? They're going to try to pull you back in different ways, bro. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to appear in the shape of love. It's going to appear in the shape of friendship. It's going to be, it's going to appear in the shape of just chilling out, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you can't fall for these little tricks and booby traps that's going on. Stay focused on the goal. Stay on your purpose. You know what I mean? Listen, bro. Don't abandon the process. I know it gets hard. I know it gets rough. But do not abandon the process. Do not abandon this journey, especially when something working for you. That's why I say don't get don't get too big headed out this motherfucker. Listen, bro, we know where we know how hard it is. We know where we came from. But when things is looking up, understand that that time shall pass. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep telling y'all that too, bro. That time shall pass. So you're going to have times where you up. You're going to have times where you down. You're going to have times where you in the middle and then you're going to be back down again and then you're going to be back up. But as long as you maintain your faith, bro, you maintain your energy, you're going to be able to fight through all of that. It's no different from the stock market, nigga. So what? Your shit drop? The Dow drop? You think they just withdraw all of the money and say, fuck it, I'm done? No. Because they know another day that shit could be shooting back up. That's your life. That's your energy. You know what I'm saying? That's your goals. That's your dreams, bro. You always going to stay on path when you stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Only you could take you off your path, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Only you could abandon your process. Only you could abandon this journey. Only you could stop having faith in the most high. Then you all on your own. Then you all on your own. So understand, bro, maintenance is needed. Maintenance is key. You got to maintain, bro. It's about maintaining the blessings that you have. It's about maintaining on your goals, maintaining all of that shit, maintaining your energy. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you let that shit go out the window, guess what? The load breaking down. You know what I'm saying? The car breaking down, nigga. The crib breaking down. You know what I'm saying? The journey is breaking down. Your energy is breaking down. Your mental health is breaking down. Your emotions is breaking down. Everything around you start breaking down. And you wonder why ain't nothing working. Everything stopped working because you stopped working. Understand that. Everything stopped working because you stopped working. Don't stop working, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a long process. Like I tell y'all all the time, bro. Semen retention is a lifestyle. This is not a fly-by-night thing right here. You know what I'm saying? Is your life a fly-by-night thing? No. Every day, we're going to have to continue to fight. We're going to have to thank the Most High for another opportunity to get up and give and give it everything we got. So every day, we got to give it everything we got, no matter how we feel. No matter how we feel. So understand that. Moving forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get on.